Hello everybody. Any electrical network may be analyzed using mesh analysis. It is one of the best strategies to find out the electrical parameters. However, there is a constraint in adapting that analysis. If the electrical network is non-planar and it has crossing branches, then mesh analysis is not suitable. If a circuit is planar with no crossing branches, then only it is applicable. So, if there is any complex network to be solved using mesh analysis, first check whether it is a planar or non-planar network. With this knowledge, we proceed to find out whether the given circuits belong to the category of planar or non-planar. This is problem number 3.33 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Alexander and Sadikus, 5th edition. Okay, let's get started. So, in this problem, we are given two electrical circuits and we need to find out whether they belong to planar or non-planar category and we are going to redraw the circuits thereby we will be finding out whether they belong to planar or non-planar category so let's first start with the a problem we will mark the nodes for the corresponding network so this is a node this is b node and this b node is actually extending up to this because in between there are no elements connected so this is our b node then this is our c node and this is the d node which is also extending up to this so we mark it here for redrawing the circuit these are a b c and d nodes in between this a and b we have this one ohm resistor placed okay you refer the circuit given in the problem and between B and C we have this 5 ohm resistor placed and between this A and C we have the 3 ohm resistance available and between A and D we have this 2 ohm resistance placed and between this D and C we have the 6 ohm resistance and between this B and D, if you look at this 4 ohm resistance is available. So, this is the one which will cause the crossing. Okay. So, in order to avoid that crossing, we have taken it like this. And between this B and D, one 2 amps current source is available. So, we have redrawn this circuit and we don't find any crossing branches that's why it's a planar circuit okay now we move on to the second problem in which we have the nodes a b c d okay so with this we are going to redraw the circuit so we mark the nodes as a b c d and between a and b we have this 3 ohm resistance between a and c we have this 4 ohm resistance between this A and D, we have this 12 volts voltage source. And between this B and C, we have this 2 ohm resistance. Between this D and C, we have 1 ohm resistance. And between this B and D, we have 5 ohm resistance, which is actually redrawn. Okay. In order to avoid the crossing. If you look at this, we don't have any crossing branches. That's why this is also your planar circuit. Okay. Thank you. Hope you have understood.